In this video, I will be applying Einstein's world-famous equation, E is equal to mc squared, to fasting, which might seem like a strange combination, but once you finish the video, it will make sense. Stay tuned. Very famous equation, E is equal to mc squared, where energy is equal to mass times the speed of light squared. So because it's an equation, whatever happens to one side happens to the next. And just to simplify it, I'm going to write it E is equal to m speed of light squared, we're going to simplify it into a 1, okay? Because what we're going to focus on is energy and mass, the relationship. Now, if there's an equal sign here, it means one side has to be equal to the other. So if you increase energy, then you must increase this side. Remember, the speed of light squared is a constant. It's a number that doesn't change. So what changes is either energy on this side or mass on this side. So in order to get more energy, you would increase mass. You increase mass, you increase energy. If you decrease mass, then you will decrease energy. So the goal for us is to increase mass, okay? There's another concept though of antimatter, which means something is taking away, something is causing you to lose mass and therefore energy, okay? And as it relates to Dr. Sebi, that, that anti-mass, that anti-matter, we will call it disease, okay? Why? Because disease takes mass away from you, right? Okay, as we grow older, our bones decrease, we get shorter, where our electricity decreases, okay, we get colder, our muscle mass, okay, decreases, our brain actually shrinks, our thymus shrinks, which is part of the immune system that makes white blood cells. So disease is antimatter, is anti-mass, it takes away from us. So the interesting thing is that when we fast, when we fast, okay, we increase mass and increase energy. Which sounds kind of crazy, because how am I increasing mass? I'm not eating. That doesn't compute, right? But in fact, research shows that when you fast, you have a stem cell. And that stem cell becomes an organoid. Used to repair an organ. Or eventually it can become a full-blown organ itself. This happens during fasting. So how, how does this happen? Because we have to remember another law, the energy, the law of energy of conservation that says that energy cannot be created. So you can't just create something out of nothing, but you also cannot destroy energy. We got to figure out how this happens in a fasted cell. So let me tell you what is really happening is that energy is not created nor destroyed. It is simply transferred. Okay. Transferred. So if this is diseased cell, then this is getting broken down by your body. Your immune system says, uh-uh, this is not me. It breaks it down, okay? And it will recycle what it needs to make this happen. Or it will trash it, right? It goes in the trash bin. So then it exits your body. That's what fasting does. It's an energy transfer. Let me give you an analogy. When you were in your mother's womb, you were tiny, tiny, and then you became a little bit bigger, and then finally at nine months, you were quite big. But this was in a fasted state. So how did you get bigger? Well, luckily for you, mom was here, okay? And guess what? She was transferring energy to you for this whole time, right? Even though you were in a fasted state, mom was transferring energy to you. And if she's transferring energy, you see, you increase energy, then that's how you grow. You increase mass. So it's the same thing when you fast. Okay, when you fast, then your energy goes up. Okay, your energy goes up because your mass is going up. Okay, so when you fast with herbs, one of the key things that should be happening is that you're no longer fatigued. 
empathy goes away and energy comes back. That is one of the things that Dr. Sebi talks about. That if you are losing electricity, it's because you're losing mass. Okay? So here's the scale. It's you and the anti-you. Okay? So the problem is that we've been feeding the anti-you. This is your enemy. We've been feeding the enemy versus our inner me. And this is how disease takes over. You see, you're tipping the scale this way. Disease is winning. So in order to reverse that, we got to fast, okay? So we got to get rid of this antimatter, this enemy, this disease. Through fasting, your body's going to know to break this down, recycle if it needs it, or trash what it doesn't. And your body is smart enough to know that. And then also, part of aging is that your DNA at the ends has these caps. Kind of like your shoelaces have that end that doesn't seem to serve a purpose, but it serves a purpose. Okay? And as we age, these caps get smaller. And when they get smaller, okay, this DNA starts making mistakes, and this can lead to cancer cells, okay? Why? Because, you see, the disease is robbing you again of mass. This concept is right down to even your TNA. The good thing is that fasting the right way can increase your mass and increase your energy and decrease your antimatter. So if your antimatter is large... Okay, and you are getting smaller with fasting, you get to reverse that by taking away from the disease. Okay, and your body knows how to do this when you fast. You don't even have to think about it. Just like when you were in your mother's womb, were you thinking about what you were going to do and how you No. Okay, so then you're borrowing, well, you're not borrowing, you're taking away from the disease, from the antimatter. Okay, and then the scale becomes where you're bigger and the disease becomes smaller, smaller smaller and then guess what you start to get your energy back okay you start to have strength maybe your hair grows back okay maybe you start getting muscles okay because your energy is coming back you start feeding your inner me instead of your enemy